Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition and how the value of Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition stories is going up. So, one of the things is, uh, you know, it's really interesting. Um, one of the things, there's so many things that are happening in our nation and in Dungeons and Dragons, and the convergences is, are incredible. So, basically, the value of stories being told specifically at Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition tables is going up, and I'm going to tell you why. So one of the things that I think is truly incredible in America right now is valuation. What are things worth? Okay, And I will tell you right now, there is more movement on this subject than I have ever seen in my entire lifetime. Right? My father is very old school, right? and you hear a lot of people still talk about you know, things like in this way. But there's been a, a fundamental shift in, Amer in evaluation of things, right? Uh, one of the biggest questions that happened recently was GameStop. There was this huge debate, and there were a lot of people who were like, oh, you know, there, actually, there were very distinct companies that were like, you know, GameStop's not worth anything. And, you know, and it's, its value is just going to go down, 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 right? And the reason why is their business, their business model is selling physical games in physical stores. So GameStop's not worth anything. And then there were other few people who were like, oh, no, no, no. Slow your roll there. GameStop's worth a fortune. And here's why. The name is valuable. It doesn't matter what they do for their business. The name alone has value, right? So how do you determine values, right? One of the other things that's happening right now is Bitcoin. Bitcoin is like, I think it's like $47,000 of Bitcoin right now, right? Per 47,000 US dollars per Bitcoin. The valuation is through the roof. It's absolutely massive, right? It shocked, it shocked the world. Bitcoin shocked the world, right? Now, is Bitcoin valuable because Bitcoin's valuable or because the US dollar, in some people's opinion, is backed by unicorn kisses and, and butterfly wishes, right? Like, there was a day where it was backed with gold. Those days are gone, right? Like, it, like it's valuable because America says it's valuable and there's not much more that makes it valuable, right? And it's also valuable because a lot of other countries are like, oh, we'd like some of that money. And it is arguably one of, by far, one of the most valuable, concern, uh, the most sought after currencies in the world, bar none, the US dollar, right? So here's the thing, right? Why would the value of Dungeons and Dragons fifth edition stories go up, right? Well, it's because the value of Hollywood stories is going up down, right? In my opinion, right? So one of the things is this, and I think this is quite literal and quite figurative, both, okay? So one of the things that, that is really shocking and surprising is, here's a, here's one for you, right? I think the number one movie in the world was Avengers Endgame, and I think it made $2.8 billion. It may be 50 years before we see a $2.8 billion movie. Why would that be before we see a movie make $2.8 billion? Here's why. Um, because there's a really good chance no movies, no movie theaters will even exist, right? So, all, and, and when movies go back, it's highly unlikely that people are going to rush to the theaters, which were struggling to keep their doors open even before, the pan, even before this pandemic. And now with the pandemic, there's an open question on whether the movie theater industry will even exist two or three years from now, right? So the idea, so and even if even if they do get past the existence question and movies still remain, the idea that they'll be able to put up two point eight billion for any movie is ludicrous, right? It, it, it's almost a certainty that movies will make mo much less money than they've ever made before at the theaters, right? And so, what will they make in streamers? Who knows? Streamers aren't telling anybody any num any numbers, right? And so. The, so the idea that a movie would be more valuable in the future is, seems ludicrous. There's nothing you could say. There's no evidence that movies in the future, any movie, will make more than, than Avengers Endgame ever did, which is the top-ranking movie, to my knowledge, in the world, okay? So, now, so Hollywood movie, Hollywood stories are literally going down, right? But they're also going on down figuratively. So WandaVision just ended, right? And this is the part that I think is really key, all right? So the reason why Hollywood story, and by the way, WandaVision, in my opinion, is a very Hollywood story. It is a story specifically designed to replace Hollywood 
movies, right? It, it's essentially it's a season of television that has the same budget as a, as a as an MCU movie, and in many ways, it's designed to be the next MCU movie, right? So, WandaVision, I just finished it. I watched all nine episodes, and I'm going to talk about it extensively right now. Okay, all right. So, WandaVision, in my opinion, has incredibly low value as a story. Here's why. Um, their moral compass. Each person can. Each person gets a moral compass at some point, right? I think w- usually when you're like, when you come of age, that's kind of maybe a good way to say it. When you get to a point where you know good from good from bad, right? You have a moral compass. Now you get to choose. You get to choose what you do with that moral compass. You can keep that moral compass, right? And you can guide your life by it and say, "I'm going to take good. Ch- I'm gonna. I'm gonna make." good choices or you can look at your moral compass and say you know what I want the thing that the things that come and the pace that things come from when I make bad choices or you could take that moral compass and you could throw it in a river and that is I think what happened with Hollywood Hollywood has taken their moral compass and thrown it in the river they don't have any idea what way they're heading and they don't care right they care about making incredibly interesting stories right WandaVision is an incredibly interesting story. But when you watch it, I am convinced, this is my opinion, when I watched WandaVision, I was like, that is a really fascinating story. It is interesting and compelling. But the person, the the group of people who wrote WandaVision clearly have chucked their moral compass in the river, and I do not believe for one second that they know the difference between a villain, a supervillain, a hero, and a superhero. It is very clear in, in 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 my opinion in WandaVision. WandaVision kidnaps an entire town, right, for um, for weeks, uh, weeks or months, right. If you kidnap a single person, you will go to jail. WandaVision kidnapped an entire town, okay, for months, thousands of people, okay. At the end of WandaVision. She is portrayed as a hero, right? And a hero validates her choices. It is incredibly clear if you watch WandaVision. Uh, if it, it was incredibly clear to me when I watched WandaVision that Hollywood has completely chucked their moral compass in the river. And I think this is a huge trend going forward. I've watched show after show after movie after movie And I'm like, there isn't anybody to root for in this entire film. No one. Nothing. Right? There's no one to root for. If you're rooting for WandaVision in Wanda, you're rooting for a supervillain. Right? At the end of the story, she, like, just walks away from a mass kidnapping and is still an Avenger. Right? So, like, the logical next step on WandaVision is that the Avengers come and capture... Uh, Wanda and put her in prison for like a hundred years. That would be clearly the next step, right? But that's not going to happen. There's not going to be any Hollywood story about that. It's not going to happen, right? Uh, in fact, I think WandaVision really closes with them presenting a supervillain to the viewer as a hero, which I think is crazy. I I, just, I don't understand why anybody would would make WandaVision the way they made it. But Dungeons and Dragons is different. We have our moral compass. The moral compass is put into Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. It's there in every single game. Every game, right? It is uh, lawful good, neutral good, chaotic good, lawful neutral, neutral, and chaotic neutral. Every player character is directed to be a hero. The game, as raw rules is written does not allow evil characters. Does not allow them, right? It says, when you play this game, you will know the difference between a, he- a hero and a villain. You will, right? You will know it at the level of every single character. Even every beast and monster in this game has an alignment. You will have clarity on who is a hero and who is a villain. And I think as uh, Hollywood continues to drift to drift because they've taken because they've chosen to take their moral compass and throw it into a river 
right? And no longer have any ability to navigate the differences between good choices and bad choices, right? That the value of stories that continue to say we make evil and good choices every single day will rise. And the reason why is Hollywood's values will both literally and figuratively be lower as they continue to forget and not understand what is a hero and what is a villain. That's my opinion. What do you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Do you think that Hollywood's abandonment of the moral compass, the chucking of the moral compass into the river, them no longer being able to discern the difference between a hero and a supervillain, and them continuing to tell stories where heroes are portrayed as, where supervillains are portrayed as heroes, will push people to value stories where hero, heroism and choosing good over evil is still valued? I think the answer is 100% yes. Hollywood Hollywood stories will go down in value, and uh, both literally and figuratively, and um, and Dungeons and Dragons stories are going to go up in value, quite literally. That's my take. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking, subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.